All right, so I did a visual inspection inside and everything looks pretty good. Um, I did do the capacitor modification as recommended in the uh, website on how to fix these things. Uh, this one measured okay. It's a 100 microfarad capacitor. It measured like 82 or something like that, but it's probably ready to go. So anyway, I put in a, a 100 microfarad capacitor here. I have a whole bunch of them in a bag. Um, the other thing they recommend is uh, checking this resistor and it, it's measuring fine. And then uh, down here, uh, there is a modification to put in some uh, more up-to-date diodes and put it on a little header and stuff. So somebody else has already done that. So somebody's been in here before and made that modification. So that sounds good. Um, so I'm expecting this thing to work okay. Uh, everything looks pretty clean inside. I don't see any pinched wires or anything like that. So uh, yeah, let's uh, button it up, turn it on, see if it works. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, there's the uh, quintessential schematic uh, glued on the inside of the instrument. Interestingly, it's uh, cracked off on one side, but it is all uh, it is all there. There is some uh, dirt inside. Shake the dirt. Shake the dirt out. All right. So anyway, we'll put the uh, put what's left of the schematic back in there. And uh, yeah, let's uh, put this thing back in its case. All right, let's turn the power on. Let it warm up. Probably should leave it, let it warm up for 15 to 30 minutes, but I don't have any time. So you need to adjust the meter for whatever line voltage you have. So you push this down here and you, uh, get to read this and the center line there says that's where you want it to be and then over here is a knob that you that you adjust it to so if you turn that knob you can set the uh, set the voltage and now it's set correctly so now the thing is where it's supposed to be so um, I found a couple tubes to test first one is the 12 AU7 I don't know if that was out of my guitar amplifier or something I don't know Anyway, we look look up in the book here, and uh, we will find 12 AU7. 12 AU7. It is 12.6 EV7. EV7 6080 So you adjust this thing here to 24. B. We have range B, and uh, we can put the tube in. So here's the tube. Let's shove it in. And whenever you plug in a tube, you can look to see if the heaters are working or not. So it takes about 11 seconds for a tube to warm up. Uh, that's my experience with uh, guitar amplifiers. And, uh, yep, I see some glowing in that there. All right, and then you press the red button over here and there's your meter. Good, good. Now this is a dual triode. And so it's got two, so we can test the other side as well. That was one side. The other side is EV2, EV2, 1030. One zero three zero. We can push that button and it tests good as well. All right, let's try my other tube out. I only have two tubes. Uh, this one is a tube uh, with the markings Hewlett Packard on it, and it is a six DJ eight. All right, so look at look up six DJ eight. It's a six point three volt filament. Whenever the number starts with a 6, that means it's a 6 volt. The other one starts with a 12, it's a 12 volt. All right, 6.3, EV7, EV7, 6080. Sounds familiar. 6080, 20 volt, or tw tw bias set at 20, whatever that value is. Range D, C, 
arrange D. All right. Okay, so let's pop him in and I'll wait a few seconds. I see him glowing nicely. Push the test button and oh, look, we can see, watch it warm up. Yeah, very nice. Yep, look at that. Bonk, bonk. Okay, so that's also a double, a dual uh, device. So let's look at the other side. DJ8. Uh, two, one, zero, three, zero, twenty. Oh, we can test that. Yeah, there we go. It's good as well. In fact, it's better. This side is has more gain than the uh, than the other side. There you go. Um, so you can. There are people online who will sell you calibration tubes, where it's a known GM, and you can go through a bunch of calibrations and stuff. Do I care about that? No, not really. I just care that whether a tube is good or bad, whether it's really working or not. Uh, so it will certainly serve that purpose. So yeah, quite pleased with this. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do, I don't remember if I've done another video on my little cheesy one. I'm, I'll, 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 I'll do another video on my other tube tester. We can kind of compare the two. That'd be kind of fun. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, that's the uh, test set electron tube TV-7A uh, TV dash seven a slash U. Let's see here. It says 110, 115 volts, 10, I don't know, 10 something, 50 to a thousand cycles per second. Uh, yeah, not sure when this, what year this was made, but probably should have checked that out when I was inside, but, uh, yeah, it's a classic. Now, if you, want to do some more research on these things. I know that the, uh, this is not the desired version. There's an A version, B version, C version, and D version. And I think the C's and the D's are the one that people want. Um, they have more adjustments inside. So if you really care about the uh, gain of your tubes and stuff, this one is a little bit difficult to calibrate. It's good for like a no go, go, no go, but the other ones you can fine tune all the different ranges and uh, get it dialed in really, really nice. So people really like the uh, C version and D versions, but I'm happy to have this one.